Whoa. <laughs> it's probably half of Britain right now, isn't it? Whoa. Where have I, where have I been for the last three days? Oh, my head. <laughs> um, uh, where have I been for the last three days? Oh, yeah, that's right. Glastonbury. <laughs> finally, finally went. Um, have been three times before, but that was for the uh, sort of historical sites. Um, and where you go divinating with the, the sort of things that lead you um, to find water. Did that school a few times. Wasn't convinced by it, but uh, nevertheless, it was a great introduction to the place, actually. Um, but nevertheless, I hadn't been to the, the epicentre of debauchery. <laughs> it's just the, the festival. Um, I had a wicked time. I had an absolutely wicked time. Um, lost my friends quite quickly. The gang that I was um, sort of mingled with on the bus, because I, I went on my own, but quickly made it, made a little crew, um, and we'd agreed to sort of tent up in this area. I brought a pretty impressive tent, actually. Um, cost me 250 quid. Had a little entrance for your Philly Wellingtons and all that sort of thing. Um... But, uh, uh, again, lost that within the first uh, five hours as well. <laughs> How can you believe it? <laughs> um, what it was is uh, my little crew, sort of, um, they were rapid movers, uh, constantly moving around and sort of, you know, one moment, you look down one moment in your map and the next, they're, they're gone. <laughs> um, but I didn't mind that. It was quite, quite a good sort of challenge to keep up with them. But um, basically what happened is uh, uh, five hours in, I, I got quite significantly, well, I wouldn't say date raped, um, but I would say um, heavily drugged, <laughs> and um, and it, it is possible it was sort of rehypnol. Um, uh, well, there's speculation. Some say a lot of acid. Some say a lot of rehypnol. Um, the paramedics say that it was a dose of both. Um, but uh, and I have to shout out to those guys. Actually, absolutely wicked crew. The paramedics. It's who I spent my whole time with. Um, uh, due to the incident, <laughs> went a bit went a little bit balmy, um, which wasn't helped by sort of night falling and then the fluorescence and the masks and the, the pumping music and so forth. Um, sort of span a yarn in my head that I'd been abducted and uh, was on some, some sort of crazy planet. <laughs> Apparently, kept screaming and thrashing around and and uh, sweating a lot and um, causing a little causing a little bit of mayhem, just as you're supposed to. <laughs> uh, um, kept taking my pants off, um, and that's not an Americanism. Um, I do mean my actual pants. Um, so I was stark apparently at some point um or, or, or quite quite often actually it was a it was a it was an ongoing thing actually with with my crew the the, the paramedics um who I spent the the time with dave chris deborah got back in one piece told you <laughs> well not one piece well one piece physically but um mentally <laughs> i'm gone <laughs> gone it's, it's, it's like, it's like um, uh, voldemort's horcrux that's my mind just splintered <laughs> possibly permanently um but still i had a blast didn't get to see any of the bands but you could hear them in the distance and sort of you know with the drugs that i was on and stuff you could kind of make your own music um uh, never done any, any drugs like that uh before and uh but what stays in Glastonbury, what happens in Glastonbury stays in Glastonbury. <laughs> um, although I will say I'm never, ever, ever touching them again. Um, and it wasn't, as I say, willing. It was sort of, well, well you know, I don't mind being spiked. Um, as long as uh, yeah, I'm with a group of pals that have also been spiked. So it's like, oh no, oh no, we're all spiked. Oh man, what's this going to be like? <laughs> but when you're on your own um, and you've lost everyone, it's it's quite scary. And uh, um, I'd left my phone in my tent, which, I, as I say, I'd lost. Um, uh, quite early on, so did struggle to sort of um, get around and sort of sort myself, sort myself, sort, sort myself out in any way. Didn't eat the whole time um, and got quite quite bad sunstroke, which I think added added to the the sort of mental episode I experienced. <laughs> um, but uh, glad I did it and um, bring on twenty twenty four, baby. <laughs> Whenever the next one is, uh, I think they do it every two years because something about the grass. Um, anyway. I hope you hope hope everyone's hope everyone's recovering from the from their hangovers. That's all Lily Allen tweet that it takes it can take months. <laughs> all right, cheers.